Hello everyone, I wanted to show you how to make an inexpensive light box so you can shoot beautiful product photos. Stay tuned. We're going to need foam board, poster board, yardstick, packaging tape, tape measure, scissors, exacto knife, pen or pencil, and zip ties. So let's start with the tape measure, yardstick, pen, and the foam board. Okay, let's take the measuring tape and measure our board, horizontal, and vertical. After determining the height and width of the board, take your yardstick and measure the middle. Mark both ends so that later you can create a straight line. Continue this process on the remaining two sides. After marking your poster board, take your exacto knife and cut from one point to the other using the yardstick as a guide. After making the first cut, put it back together and cut from one point to the other. You should now have four equal pieces. Take one of the pieces and grab your yardstick and pin and mark the middle. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Put the yardstick at the point that you just made. Find the middle and place another dot. Grab your yardstick and go ahead and grab your exacto knife and carefully cut along the yardstick from one point to the other. Take the half with the pin marks and cut that in half also. You should now have six pieces. Now let's move on to the assembly. Grab your zip ties, scissors, and foam board. Now we have to measure one centimeter from the bottom. Repeat this with all three. Place a dot at every inch mark. Mine ended up measuring 10 inches, so I only needed nine dots. Using your yardstick, line up the two one centimeter dots and create holes at every one inch mark. Repeat this step with the other two larger pieces. They will make up our bottom and sides. Be sure to put holes in the opposite end of one of the pieces because this will be the bottom. Work with one side at a time, layer the pieces together, place the zip ties in the hole like this. It should open up like a book. Repeat this process until all the holes are filled. Once that's done, go ahead and tighten up each zip tie and secure it in place. scissors and cut off the ends of the zip ties. Repeat this step with the other board and they will be connected. Now we'll take the three remaining pieces to secure our board. Once it's all taped, this is how it's going to look. Be sure to leave a space for your backdrop. Now we're going to measure our box so we can add our backdrop. You can use any color you like. I chose to stick with black. Comment below and share backdrop ideas you may have. Once you're done marking your post board, go ahead and cut it out.
before taping it into place, we need to place it in the slit so you can see how tall it needs to be. Once we have our measurement, we can take off the excess and tape it into place. Alright, here's the finished product, all under $4. Check out a few of the gorgeous pictures I've taken. Thumbs up this video for more tutorials.